Hello everyone, we're live at Epic Headquarters. I'm here with Steve hey. and Jim and our special guest today, Pete. One of the <laughs> Pete's. A Pete. We Pete have a Pete. Two. We have a Pete we by request. We have one of the Pete's, not Repeat. both Pete's. We have a Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need more Pete's? Three Pete's. <laughs> three Pete's. We, could do we need a three fall. Pete. We, we could do a, an all Pete stream someday. <laughs> three Pete. Uh, what other Pete do we have that we could bring? Pete Ellis. Ellis? Oh, yeah, Pete yeah. Ellis. And we could do a three Pete. Yep. I like it. Um, first of all, uh, we posted a story today about Zacubus and his tutorials. He did a tutorial on the flat cannon Very today. Very nice, yeah. And so take a look. Um, a neat comment I heard during the week was from somebody who's been playing UT for a long time and said, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's really it, the, the, the tutorials are fantastic. Yeah. Um, we killed his video card because he made so many tutorials and had the thing and running for so long. And tried to stream, long. stream the game. And then yeah. he was streaming the game and it just started getting artifacts. So we're like, yeah, we got to get this guy a new video card for all the things that he's done. So we sent him his new video card. I believe he, he has it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you just go to the, the blog, there's a story right in the front right now. Uh, just click on it. It will take you a link to all the tutorials. And I, really I would really like to hear what you learn if you've been playing for a while that you didn't know that you can do or or things that you know we should cover that we haven't covered. So let yeah. us know. Between his tutorials and the tutorial map that Sid did, I would be very surprised if the vast majority of people didn't learn at least one thing. Yeah. Did uh, anybody play the uh, Sid's tutorial map? Oh yeah, I did. I had to go back <laughs> I to fix through. It. I am so I am so <laughs> embarrassed <laughs> to say that I I really had a hard time with one coin, and it was were the translocators where I I, I missed um. one and I kept saying I missed one and I, I kept looking around. Finally, mm. I found it, but yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. I was I, when we first started testing it. There was one that I always missed in the movement section, and that uh, just because I didn't know where it was because he had it hidden, but. <laughs> anyway. yeah. Right. It was behind. It was actually yeah, it's behind. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, there it is. So yeah, yeah that that was a lot of fun too. Yeah. Um, so d can we tell people when they're going to be able to use the assets for uh, Alpha's Twenty Three? Um, those are um, coming in right now. So I think uh, the other Pete has been uh, getting all that stuff squared away and moved over. Um, Let's make him repeat. Yes. <laughs> 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 and. Um, so hopefully um, in next week's build uh, we'll have it. Not so we have a we're planning, and I'll talk a little bit uh, in a little while about what's in it. But we have a a new build that should be being um, uploaded right now. Right now yeah. um, so being released in the next few minutes, and um, in the in next week's build we'll have the uh, Leandria asset, so you guys can start messing around with it. We'll awesome. also have the the Outpost 23 map, so you can look at how it was built and all the you know how all the pieces were fit together. Um, so that'd be really cool. Really excited to seeing what you guys can do with that. We're going to keep focusing on making sure that all those, you know, that those assets and the other assets that we're building are available to you, so you can um, create your own uh, cool stuff uh, using our our content as a starting point. Awesome. Um, we were talking to you to say today to try and figure out how many maps are going to look just like Outposts yeah. once those assets are yeah. released. So your challenge is to take them yes. and well do something you know, unique with them. And go back yeah. to, um, I mean, I think uh, when. Uh, Josh Marlowe was on the stream a yeah. few weeks ago. He mm -hmm. did a really good job of explaining how flexible the material, the way he had set up the uh, master materials shader for um, for those right. that you can do a lot of stuff with them. And so there's really a lot of ways blink. you can make them look different <laughs> uh, by changing the material, by changing the lighting, by changing um, just the way that they're combined. Yeah, the way yeah. they're yeah. combined. So um, we really look forward to you know really seeing you guys do so cool and different stuff with yes. it. Um, yeah, go back to that stream. Uh, you can see the the. Lego pieces right on the front of yeah. the story. So just click on that and you watch the stream because he uh, really gets into detail how you can use them. Yeah, yeah that was the biggest surprise of, of how level designers use assets that you thought that they would never be used in that way. And so that's kind of the fun thing is taking stuff that you think you know what it looks like but making really cool things that look nothing right. like yeah. the original. Um, yeah. Back in UT, uh, you said how many maps are going to look like it. Everything was concrete. So, you know, it's like <laughs> yeah. 20, 25 concrete yeah, maps right true. out of the gate. So. And this is how we ended up with pyramids in space. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's more so. like ziggurats in space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have Pete here today, and yeah. uh, Pete is going to walk us through some of the uh, weapon models that yeah. Oh, yeah, we should have put that down there. That's for all right. Shouldn't <coughs> we? <coughs> yeah, the, the biggest thing is I w just wanted to do a high level of everything, and you guys can chime in as well. Um, the biggest thing is, is obviously we had a pretty big push, and we got some new effects in for the old UT3 weapons. We got some animations on stuff that didn't have it. We have our three new weapons in, but the biggest thing is, is just know that everything is still 
uh, very work in progress, um, especially materials, effects, uh, animations especially. A lot of those animations uh, I had maybe a day or a half a day to do and while Slacker. they look yeah no while they look <laughs> decent um, for first pass the other thing is is you really need to get in the in the game and watch them being fired thousands and thousands of times over and and really understand if that works for that type of repetitive gameplay so we have tons of stuff that we're going to be continuing to uh, tweak and refine and polish we're still not sure what our next official weapon will be um, but we've had a lot of great progress on the forums and so I wanted to share some of that stuff and so as always I apologize greatly for butchering um, everybody's names your yeah. screen it's names yes so let's well, see I said uh, wait go back one Paul Shelley, can you switch over Thank you, Paul man. Stratton told us what his name was <coughs> when we were GDC, and I don't think any of us remember what he said. It's like Kazian or something like that. Yeah, it was, it was Kazio Hin, but w he wanted. He said it differently. He said Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, said he wanted to be known as Paul. He wasn't sure why he ended yeah. up with that name. But. Yeah. So first up, we have, uh, and again, all these are non-official. These are just people that have voluntarily started modeling concepts. They just picked a concept, started going with it, and they're doing it for their own personal fun and to contribute and hopefully they finish all of these and they become marketplace items if if nothing else but uh i've seen a starting to see a bigger leap in quality especially since we got the uh flack out there and people are seeing that we're really you know collaborating with you guys and stuff is starting to go up in the marketplace and so there's lots of opportunities but you need to model it first and foremost because you want to because modeling takes a long time mm -hmm. you need to have fun with it and uh, just collaborate with the community so first up we have a, a bio rendition by uh, I am Windside and basically the bottom concept as we see here which is an interesting take on the, the bio rifle I think it falls a little bit more with UT3's design that's a bit more yeah. alien like um, but I selected this one because uh, he did a really nice job with the detail of the modeling. Um, and so I just kind of <coughs> wanted to show the quality oh, wow. of what he was dealing with. The, the biggest thing that I'd like to advise, uh, I see a lot of people that dive in pretty wholeheartedly into the high poly and getting a lot of very fine details, as you can see here. Uh, before they really work out how the first person would be and the articulation would be. So in this instance, one of the things, even though the high poly modeling is really great, one of the things that I would advise is to, you know, take a step back and get all those base forms roughed in and then try and figure out articulation and things like that. Um, this concept has been very polarizing on the forums, but <laughs> that's... The bio rifle itself is polarizing. Yeah, absolutely. But one of the biggest things I don't want to have happen is people getting deterred just because a concept isn't approved by everybody. Yeah. Um, you're the one that's going to be modeling it. You're going to be spending a lot of time with it. So if you think it's cool, then just go for it and start modeling it and try and make the coolest thing you can. If you're somebody who's contributing to that thread, and you're giving feedback and comments, uh, just try and steer more towards how that particular thing could be better. Like the, the I hate this, this isn't the official bio, file new, save no. That's not really helpful kind of feedback. So don't worry about whether it's an official weapon or not. Just try and contribute and have fun and help that person make the coolest model that they can make. Well, I like this thir third one too, as soon as I saw them, because it looks like a gun or a rifle that's going to have a lot of goop in it. It's going to be yeah. sludgy and everything, just like the old ones were. Mm -hmm. And th the whole point of this is that even if it doesn't become the official bio rifle, there's no saying it won't become the one that you can put in the marketplace and other people can use yeah. or, you know, yeah. like all these systems are still coming online and there's ways to get this in the game um, and for you to even just play with it on your own. So if you like it, go for it. Absolutely. So that's kind of the theme of all of these. Um, next up, we have a lightning gun, the white <laughs> version, which was yes. done by JL Plus. Um, so I think this is after he'd already been modeling a bit and then... Um, Gooba came in and did a paint over of some of the stuff. But uh, this is the, the latest version that I found on the forums and starting to look really cool. Um, 
um, really good modeling, great modeling, good attention to detail, good uh, balance of details, you know, having some areas where your, eye, your eyes can rest and then areas of very high concentrated okay. detail. I love the way that looks in first person. Yes. I'd, I'd really like to see how it would animate, and uh, this one would rely heavily on uh, FX. particle effects yeah. and yeah. stuff to really come to life. Um, this is the <laughs> central <laughs> cool core unit of it. Wow. Uh, missing the front so cool. blades. That's almost cool just by itself. Yeah, that's actually. That is really cool. And that's kind of the front where all the lightning is uh, created. See, I love it that he did this, that he broke it all down like this, like you do with a shock rifle. Absolutely, yeah. He's a very talented modeler, and so very, very cool. Uh, a lot of people are digging that, and so congrats on that. Uh, hope you continue on that. Then we have the uh, the lightning gun yellow version, which is Abaru, which he did the very, very sleek kind of sniper version. And then uh, this started as a Gooba concept as well. But even if Gooba is kind of the, the start of these, a lot of them evolve heavily with just people really collaborating, giving paint overs, giving feedback. Um, Everybody that I've seen in the forums has been great about taking feedback and being very collaborative and trying to incorporate as much of that as possible, which is saying a lot because it's really challenging when you have, you know, thousands right. of people giving you different opinions. But I think this would be a great, uh, oh, great version too. of the lightning gun as well. Um, and so this would be a situation where if you don't like the official, then you would have two choices or, you know, yep. lightning gun is not confirmed yet, but if and when that ends up in the game. <laughs> I think it's uh, uh, and uh, he was so nice and did us the murdered out version, which we all love to have. Cool. And then we have another uh, concept, the link gun, I think is probably concept oh, wise wow. has been one of the most polarizing on the forums. and. The thing that's been cool is it's had the the most variety, the broad range of different mm -hmm. styles. Yeah, it's, of it's gone from very real world to very alien yeah. and everything in between. Yeah, I, I like that. And one yeah. of the things you know we've talked about is we do want to allow uh, people to have uh, different versions of the guns that, that that they can get from the marketplace. Mm -hmm. But of course, the key there is that we have to make sure that is very clear if we allow different versions of those guns that player that everyone can recognize instantly that that is a lightning gun or that is a, a link gun so that the varieties yeah. and and we need to kind of come up with guidelines for that but so far that's yeah. one of the things i like about these concepts is when i see oh wow i immediately recognize what that is even if it's a mm -hmm. different looking version and so this is nice too because it's quite different from you know the link gun we have now but it's clearly you know it has kind of the gen same general length and shape and kind of stubbiness and coloration and so we'll we need to figure out the set of, yeah. of visual cues that make it so that we can have different ver looking versions of the weapons in game but still make them very recognizable. And Sorry, particle effects has a huge part yeah. Yeah. deal with it as well. Yeah. People are in the in the forums are saying or in the chat are saying uh, are the basic mo weapon models still going to change? Uh, just a reminder to everyone that we really only have a couple weapons implemented and most of the ones that are there are yeah. placeholder uh, art carried over from UT3. Yeah. So. so yeah, so far we just have the uh, flat cannon that um, and the enforcer that were made by community members and yep. then the shock rifle that Pete made. Yeah. Yep. So those, those are the only three um, weapons that have been redesigned. Everything else is a placeholder from UT3. So And yep. we're still up in the air on what the final weapon loadout, like total all weapons available is going to be, so there's mm -hmm. still room for new things or different yeah. things to happen. Yep. In Absolutely. Space as well. We're yeah. still, still very, very um, early in the process and I'm modeling as fast as I can and we're concepting as fast, as fast as we can, can and Captain. I'm trying to be very involved with the community and all the forum threads and, and give people encouragement and answer questions and so um, this version of the link gun was uh, modeled by Mangley and uh, I thought this was a cool uh, example it's still a little early in the process but this one is where he really is taking his time and blocking in and making sure the forms are right He's doing really good about checking the first person views and also taking oh, wow. a lot of that feedback from the community. So as you can see, it's kind of morphed and evolved from what the concept was. And so one of my big things is the concept is the spiritual guide, but gameplay and functionality and anim integrating with animation, yeah. accommodating cool effects, all of those things kind of trump the concept. Yeah. The concept um, is the birth of it, but then it has to kind of evolve and grow over time yeah. through collaboration. So I thought this was a good example of that. 
That looks fantastic. Yep. So now um, the final thing that I'm going to do is I know everybody's seen the shock and I'm uh, very sick of the shock as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've been gathering images uh, to... Ch Chumbo is not sick of the shock. Chumbo will never be sick of the shock. <laughs> Chumbo is owning fools with the shock. Um, so I've been gathering images extracting from uh, my form thread for the shock, which ended up being at... 16 pages, 617 comments, and a little over 62,000 views. So nice. I wow. had a, a lot of interaction on that. Um, and what I'm doing is, so you don't have to wade through of all of that if you want to see the process, I'm going to actually create a wiki page tutorial that extracts just the key data and the key images from the awesome. whole process. Very useful. And so I've got a ton of images here, but I'm going to blaze through them uh, really fast. Don't worry if I'm going too fast. We'll post a link to these once I get the wiki up, or you can dig through the forum thread and uh, see it in. You can dig through 62,000 views. It's <laughs> evolution there. So here's the concept, and obviously there's three or four other concepts that uh, he started with, but this is the one we selected with. And then I'm just basically blocking in forms and. Uh, again, trying to figure out what animation possibilities are, checking first-person view, seeing what recoil might. Um, the interesting thing is a lot of people started quoting my images without the context of my descriptions, so I just started putting the descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that all day. Putting the descriptions in the image. Yeah, yeah, and then they would just crop it out and do a paint over. <laughs> 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 it was awesome. Um, well, so you had the thing at first, too, where people would quote your image and then the the conversation will go completely off track, not 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 going down the road that you you were talking about to begin with. So yeah. that was a big help. That was when I left for holiday vacation and all <laughs> the kids threw a party <laughs> and wrecked the house. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the thread was a mess, uh. <laughs> chaos exactly. everywhere. Um, <laughs> so obviously I wasn't very far uh, along at all with the weapon, but I got it in the engine and started testing it. So for me, that's a really key component. It's getting a a basically a rough version of the model into the engine as quickly as possible. Then you continue to refine. Obviously, I start detailing the forms a little bit. Um, still a little wonky in areas. Um, but now I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with where the shapes are refined. I started thinking about the internals, the guts of it, and how it uh, worked. Um, this is a part where I was kind of struggling with what the display would be. So Gooba came in yeah, and gave me a paint over. Yeah, beautiful. Um, paint overs help a ton with, with modelers. So it doesn't always have to be at the very um, front at the concepting phase. It can be just iteration throughout the entire process. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do working with concept artists and the community is I'll model a little bit, give feedback, figure out functionality, get another paint over, and just kind of bounce around. So I thought this was a good point to get an updated version in the engine uh, for further testing. And then uh, this was a full paint over of my current state of the model just to get that gooba sexiness on it and make sure that we were still heading down a visual flat, uh, path that we like. This was some ideas for the internal core. And then this is close to the finished high poly where we did some uh, key shot renders just as Beautiful. visual development, murdered out version. And then this is where the unfun part gets and where I've seen not a lot of the form models get to, which is the what I call the harsh realities of making video games. Making the sexy high poly is a lot of fun. Um, it's still challenging, but that's kind of the fun and the easy part. Actually getting it into the game to where it works, it uh, allows performance to be where it needs to be, allows the effects artists, the material artists to all work their magic. Um, so that's the low poly. There's the unwrap, which you want to have uh, pretty clean. That's what enables you to transfer the details from the high poly to the low poly and get the materials assigned in game. And this is oh, what wow. I kind of prep to uh, break it all apart to where I can transfer that data. And then here's my first pass of it actually in the engine as a game model. And so 
I'm just checking out the quality of all the previous steps that I did. And then the way that the new UE4 materials work is you're not painting actual colors, you're more uh, creating masks for material breakups with the physically based materials. And so they look a little different from previous uh, generation UE3 stuff, but that's kind of the high level of that. And then very simply, just tie it all together in the <laughs> engine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, materials don't have to be that complex. This one is a little <laughs> more complex because we had to allow and do a lot of R&D for uh, skin customizations and uh, different things. Master shader. The master that, shader. Yeah. Skin this reminds me of the old days actually. when they used to show the phone company ladies would be. Yes. And they'd have all these yes. wires that they're plugging in all over the place. That's what that looks like to me. Oh, look at this. And one. then there's the final, which uh, Perna put together in a nice screenshot with the new Necros character in the Outpost 23. That's the very, very high level of just the modeling and material phase. Obviously, then you had to animation and effects and um, sound effects, all those things that really tie together and, and make a weapon tick. Um, so the biggest thing I want to emphasize is a lot of times you don't know if a weapon is successful or, or not until you go through all those stages and you tie everything together. Uh, I already know a lot of stuff that I need to tweak and refine on this guy, stuff I'd like to change, uh, modularity I'd like to explore, changing out the screen or the barrel. I know a lot of people like the previous concepted version. Um, so I keep reiterating that it's iteration. It's just a very long iterative process. But uh, that's what we'll do with all the <coughs> forthcoming official weapons, and um, that's kind of. I'm really the excited end of my dog to get and pony show. to this point where we have these weapons where we can start taking screenshots mm -hmm. like this because this is this is beautiful. I can't tell you how many people said, "Hey, look at my new desktop," and it's you know this image and stuff like that. Well so that's cool. Well, I know I noticed some a few questions uh, going by on the stream chat. Um, again, I'll put. Obviously, a lot more detailed instructions in my uh, wiki tutorial. I'll also post a thread on the forums linking to it, and I'll answer questions and update the tutorial as needed. And so that was the uber, uber high level, but I'll definitely go into much further detail. And Chumbo just said the update is live. Woot. Cool. Yeah. New build is out. That means, Zach, get back over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah, I'll, have the, uh, I'll link the patch notes in as soon as I get out of this. Yeah, so yeah. So look for the look for. I'll those talk soon. a little bit about what they are, uh, what we've done. But uh, so, Steve, what's coming in the new build? <laughs> Let me bring up my uh, my what list. What a great though. segue. So really, our <laughs> focus um, in the last couple of weeks has been obviously, you know, with the the GDC build, we have a lot of new content and a lot of new players came in. Um, so our focus the last couple of weeks has been, and we've done a couple of hot fixes on improving um, UI and hub issues, imp improving stability, and that you'll still see that with this, this week's build. But we've got a whole bunch of, of fixes for the hubs and UI. We've got, um, we fixed uh, cr various crashes, and um, the worst one, I think, was the plane editor crash that <laughs> snuck in the last <laughs> hot fix. Very sad. Um, and uh, we're also starting to work on improving uh, uh, player lighting and shadowing. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do there, and actually um, Nick Donaldson uh, has been continuing to work on it this week, so we'll see even more improvement next week. But we know that's an area uh, that we have a long ways to go, but uh, we're already starting to make some good progress. Um, we, we've got a few uh, uh, gameplay, um, minor gameplay tweaks uh, this week, but not a whole lot yet, but we'll be getting back uh, to more focus on, uh, on continuing to iterate on the core loop, um, as well as uh, continuing to improve our, our framework and our social stuff and so forth. Um, We've got a lot of new players uh, playing the game now, so be nice really to them. Yeah, be nice <laughs> to them. I mean, uh, you guys are, you know, f take take feel like owners of this game. Feel you like are. you're you're ambassadors, and so you know we're really grateful to to the people that are doing things like Zacubus's tutorials that help introduce new players to our game. But when you're playing, when you you find people that are trying to to learn, like like be helpful, like. Uh, this game will succeed because we have a, a big community, and most of that community is going to yeah. come from new players. So, and you guys, we, we need you to help us make that happen. So um, we appreciate any any anything you guys are doing, the the tutorials, the new. Um, I saw the new um, uh, speed run stuff that uh, yes. Tim and some of those guys T are doing. That's awesome. Thank you, Tim. We, we want to 
Uh, we'll have to figure out how we can uh, use that as well. I mean, I think that's Bring cool that both as a as an experience in itself, but also as a way of helping, helping people, people learn about movement sure. and stuff. So it was really cool sitting in a hub uh, the other day where um, somebody was asking questions about the game. How how quick everybody in the YouTube community he got the same Jumped same answer by five different people yeah. that were yeah. jumping in to try to help yeah. keep that up. That's that's so yeah. important to keep people around. Yep. So I think that's all. I mean, like I said, that's well. I'll have the patch notes out, but that's basically been our focus. And um, you know, keep uh, keep playing, uh, keep giving us feedback on uh, on what's working, what's not. And also, again, you know, with the forums, please uh, please give us your feedback, give us your honest feedback, but try to do it in a positive way, especially when you're commenting on stuff that other community members are creating, because they're doing that for the love of UT. And even if you disagree with their ideas or their direction do it in a respectful way that is a positive experience for everyone. Thank you. And the, yeah. the weapon forums have been doing great. They're Drop them Those mic. are just. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were literally going to leave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> told you guys. Uh, no, but uh, everybody's been doing great. And those four models were just the four that I picked off the top that were floating at the top. But there's a ton of amazing stuff going on yeah, in the weapons forums yeah. and also the weapon design forums. And so get out there and get involved. Um, actually, that reminds me. So, we, yeah, we're really excited also now that the um, editor is free, something that's yes. know, awesome for Unreal Tournament. Um, it's a great opportunity to get more people in and creating stuff to make this game better. Um, we've got some tutorials that to help people um, starting out. Uh, yeah. One of the things that we've talked about wanting to do is uh, making a template available so that community members can also create these tutorials if you have ideas. And certainly, we'd love for you even now to be creating tutorials in whatever format you can to help people with creating, whether you um, uh, you can submit stuff to the wiki, you can create web tutorials similar to how we've created them. It um, would also be, if, if we could get some sort of consensus going as to what tutorials people want, Yes. Mm -hmm. um, either we or we can find people to help create those tutorials if, if there's enough you know, request for yeah. a specific thing that we can make that happen. Cool. All right. Make sure you join the live stream tomorrow for the engine. I think I don't know what they're going to be talking about again. I bet Chance will be there. I bet Chance yes. will be there. With special guests. Yeah. Shelly, Shelly's looking at me like, I know. Ah. Oh, so we're going to have a new set. Ooh, tour nice. of the new set. Tour of the new set with Chance. Tour of the construction. The construction. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So make sure, y make sure you t tune on that so you can see what our new set's going to look yeah. like. Uh, we don't even know yet. We just heard about it, and we also heard. I've seen renders, but and and, and Sh Shelley can verify this. We also heard that we can have people Skype in to our streams now. Thumbs up, so we can have uh, you guys talk with us on here. Yep. So, get your setups ready, because yes. in case we want you to be <laughs> on, we want you to say, hey, yeah, I, I would love to be on your stream. So, get it all set up. Get Skype set up. Maybe even send us your usernames in, in private messages. Don't do it on the forum. <laughs> 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 but all right, guys, we'll see you next week. Great. You have a great Thanks one. A lot. We'll Bye. see ya.